your quick and easy cannabis recipe. Now, I received a couple messages in my email for Jello shots. So today, I'm showing you how to make Jello shots infused two different ways, one with can of sugar and the other with can of tincture. So the first recipe I'm going to show you how to make is pina colada Jello shots using can of tincture. So let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need your favorite brand of silver rum, coconut cream, pineapple juice, maraschino cherries, gelatin, and your infused tincture. So start by spraying a mini muffin tin with coconut oil so the jello shots don't stick to the tin. Now if you don't have coconut oil, you can use any type of spray oil except for olive oil for this process. In a small pot, add one cup of coconut cream and stir for three to five minutes on low heat until the clumps separate and blend back into liquid. Then open two packs of gelatin and sprinkle one pack at a time evenly on the top of the coconut cream and continue to stir for five to 10 minutes until the gelatin is completely combined and you have a smooth texture that looks like this. Remove the mixture from the heat and add one cup of rum and two tablespoons of tincture and stir until combined. And I'll make sure I leave the link below and up top on how to make tincture at home. Because the tincture turns the coconut cream mixture light green in color, I used some white food coloring left over from a previous video, and you can find this on Amazon, and I'll make sure I leave the link below. And I added a few drops of the food coloring until the mixture lightened up some. Now, it doesn't look snow white, but when the jello becomes firm, it will lighten up even more. Now bring back the muffin tins and add one tablespoon of coconut layer to each muffin tin. And if one tablespoon is not enough, make sure you fill each cup halfway. Then after you fill each muffin cup, you should have a small amount left over, which I added to a couple candy molds for later. And then I placed the muffin tins in the fridge for about an hour to chill and become firm. Now while the coconut layer is in the fridge, I use this time to cut the cherries. Using a cutting board, I cut a small slice off the bottom of each cherry like this to make sure they fit flat in the middle of the jello shot and don't move. After cutting the cherries, set them aside until your coconut layer is ready. After an hour, remove the jello shots from the fridge and start placing those sliced cherries in the middle of each muffin cup. And they should sit flat just like this. And if you're enjoying this video, don't forget, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Now for the pineapple layer of the jello shot, add one cup of pineapple juice to a small pot, but don't turn on the heat. Then sprinkle two packs of gelatin evenly over the pineapple juice and let it sit until the gelatin starts to wrinkle on top. Now this may take three to five minutes, but it'll look like this when it's ready. Then turn the pot on low heat and stir the gelatin and the pineapple juice until it's completely dissolved. It will take the gelatin a short time to dissolve, so please don't walk away from the stove or let the mixture come to a boil. When the gelatin dissolves, it should look just like this. Remove the pot from the stove and add a half a cup of silver rum and stir until combined. Then using the same method as the coconut layer, add one tablespoon of pineapple mixture to each muffin cup, making sure you cover each cherry. Then place the muffin tins in the fridge for about three to four hours or until the jello becomes firm and set. After a few hours, take the jello shots out of the fridge and using a butter knife, slowly go around each jello shot to loosen them. These jello shots are looking so tasty. I cannot wait to eat one. And when done, place them on a serving dish and you have cannabis infused pina colada jello shots for your guests. Now that I've shown you how to make pina colada jello shots with tincture, let me show you how to make raspberry lemonade jello shots using can of sugar. For this recipe, you'll need lemons, orange juice, gelatin, vodka, frozen raspberries, and can of sugar. Using the six lemons, start by cutting the ends off each lemon so they fit, fit flat in the muffin tin and look like this. Then use a knife to cut the pulp and membrane out of each lemon and place it in a small bowl. You can also use a measuring spoon to help get the membranes out a little easier. Then use a strainer to juice a half a cup of lemon juice and set it aside. Place each lemon half in a muffin tin and make sure the lemons lay flat and not at an angle unless you want to get fancy with the layering. Then pour a half a cup of lemon juice, 
three tablespoons of orange juice, a half a cup of water, and a third cup of can of sugar in a small saucepan on low heat and stir until combined. Then sprinkle two packs of gelatin evenly over the lemon juice and continue to stir until the gelatin has completely dissolved. This may take a few minutes like the pina colada jello shots, but when combined, it should look like this. Remove the pot from the stove and pour a half a cup of vodka and stir until combined. Then using a one tablespoon or spoon, fill each lemon halfway and place them in the fridge for one hour so the gelatin can become firm and set. While the lemons are in the fridge, add a third cup of the thawed raspberries and a quarter cup of Simply Raspberry Juice to a blender on high until combined. If you don't want to use raspberries, you can substitute them for one cup of just the Simply Raspberry Juice. Then add one cup of the raspberry juice to a small pot and add a quarter cup of can of sugar and stir on low heat until combined. Then evenly spread two packs of gelatin over the raspberry juice and stir until combined, making sure you don't bring the mixture to a boil. When the gelatin has dissolved, remove from the stove and add a half a cup of vodka and stir until combined. Then using a tablespoon, fill each lemon cup to the top with the raspberry vodka mixture and place them back into the refrigerator for two to three hours or until firm. And if you didn't do it already, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. After a few hours, your jello shots will look like this and it's time to slice them into wedges. So use a cutting board and slice each lemon in half as if you were slicing an apple. You'll be able to see the lemon layer on the bottom. You can also slice the half into another half and get a smaller wedge. And then after slicing all of your lemons, you have delicious cannabis infused raspberry lemonade jello shots. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching another video. It's appreciated. And these jello shots, oh my God, they turned out perfect. Now the pineapple jello shots are too cute look how cute those jello shots are and they taste great too so let me take a bite uh -huh. mm. see and when you bite in the middle oh my god i can immediately taste the alcohol in the jello shot and it tastes so good it's so good oh my god these jello shots are not gonna last and these are the lemon raspberry jello shots. And everything turned out perfect. And again, thank you for watching another Hello High video. And you can find me on Instagram at Hello High Official and Facebook at Hello High Official, on Twitter at Hello High underscore, and on the Cannabis app at Hello High. And I'll see you guys on the next video.